Hello Capricorns, welcome to your October 2022 general reading with myself, Thomas Janak. You're watching Thomas's Tower Readings. Please like, subscribe and share. And if you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Now, what we do here, we will actually divide the reading into certain areas. And the areas are as follows. Um, we will look at the overall energy for the months ahead before we will then look into your emotional core before we then finally look into opportunities as they present themselves to you in the month of October. Okay, Capricorns, are you ready? So, um, let's have a look at the overall energy for the month of October for your very sign. Now remember, Capricorn as a sign can be a very, very confused at times because you really are <laughs> uh, depicted as the mountain goat in astrology when you are actually um, when you are actually likened to a sea goat, totally different. And then when you move to Vedic uh, uh, astrology, um, you're even seen as an alligator. So the point is you are associated with three animals, which means sometimes there's a part of you that doesn't even know um, which end is which and who are you and what's going on. And because you are burdened, sometimes you need a bit of guidance. And what is the overall energy for your for your months of October, Capricorns, is diligence. Pay attention, really pay close attention to what is actually going on in your life so you can see what confuses me. Where am I unsure? Who and what makes me insecure? Right? And have that feeling of Right, let me just let's just watch this a little and let's just assess what's what and then you must act. Okay? Uh, quite important, Capricorns. And now we're finally looking at your emotional core. Um see what's what's happening for you there. And well, it might not mean that there isn't much happening, but you are being asked when it comes to letting go of trauma and uh, inviting in love and you know all these uh, important things that, that that feed your your soul is to relax around it really important don't plan too much don't think just because let's just say you are currently without a partner that you're less okay so and um, if you also feel there's stuff here and I'm still grieving and I'm going through stuff and I can't quite let it go, you know, um, if you can't push yourself, don't push yourself. But relax around it. Allow yourself to feel whatever it is you need to feel. But relax around how fast you feel this should be released. Let it happen when things are ready, right? Trust in the divine timing. Okay, really, really important. And now lastly, Capricorns, we will look at the opportunities as they present themselves to you in the month of October 2022. And that's awesome. You have wonders. What that really means, Capricorns, is opportunities will work best for you when you don't follow old patterns. Right? So let's just say you say, okay, I'm in that job, but I'm not really super happy, and someone is offering me another job. If it is the same field, right, you might just chase because there's something that you know. So you're, you might already be in a situation of wanting to not have massive changes. And the only constant in the universe is change. Since you have wonders, um, there might be things that completely surprise you when you work outside of your comfort zone. So what if you went for something you haven't done before and dismiss all the bloody stuff you know, you've known for 20 years? Maybe in new beginnings, in new things, uh, a new start is what you need, right? Really, really important. And if you are happy in your current position and you don't want to change, right, then bring wonder in it, right, into it, right? Make your work days magical. It is, after all, your energy and your attitude to things, right? Nobody can stop you from having a crystal next to your computer, right? And nobody can really stop you from, 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 from sprinkling fairy dust. 
uh, in, in, into the corners, which means cleansing the energy using a pendulum before everybody comes to work and, and brings their shitty energy, right? Nobody really can stop you to, to create a higher energy because you're spending so many hours in there, right? Um, it's really, really important to understand that you, you, once you're in an environment where there's a lot of other energies, they can, they can literally drain you quite quickly uh, because you're, you're quite deep. And therefore, making sure that you create scenarios and spaces and places where you feel, yeah, that's livable, um, and then some, that's what you uh, probably should be doing. Okie dokie, Capricorn, thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share, 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 share widely. It helps us grow the channel. And I see you all next month. Bye-bye.